Well, hoi there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to Planet Coaster. I've got my hands on an alpha build of this neat game, and I thought I'd show you a few things. So first of all, I thought it'd be interesting to look at all the rides that exist in the game. They've already chucked in quite a few, as you can see from this list here. And it might be interesting to go through a few of them. So first of all, I thought we'd look at the most exciting ones. We're going to drop them down first, and then uh, we'll come back and look at them in action. So in the category of spinning rides, we have the Forge. And we have the Sky Ace. Now these two are both extreme rides. Definitely for your more adventurous park, park visitors, I'd say. After that, there are some difficult and challenging pendulum rides. First up, the Hammer Swing. Look at this thing. I mean, these are huge rides. I mean, look at that, look at that compared to the size of the entrance. So the Hammer Swing gets two lots of people swinging at the same time in, in opposite directions. Again, one for the thrill seekers. In addition to that, we have 360 Power, another big pendulum ride. Classic arm on a end of a stick with all the bits of the arm spinning around and uh, the whole thing, of course, moving up and down and round and round. In addition to that, we have the Screaminator, which is a drop ride. And that just about rounds out the most of most extreme, most sort of scary rides that are available in the game right now. And uh, yeah, look how high this is. I think this is basically the tallest ride in the game, short of roller coasters that you build yourself. The next category of rides are the chair rides. The sun flare sees your patrons sitting in a chair and spinning around at very, very great height. Pretty cool looking, uh, pretty cool looking ride. I'd like to get on one of these in the real world one day. Who knows? After that, you're getting into more gentle rides. The Genie is a flat ride and uh, not not too extreme, but again, good for perhaps uh, the older, older people who come to the come to the theme park that you're going to build one day. And then we have a number of family rides. First up, the Whirly Rig. I really like this one because it has a really, really amazing little pirate shanty that plays. And of course, who wouldn't like that? Good one for the kids. A pirate ship. Pretty much can't be any kind of theme park without a pirate ship, right? Does the usual swinging thing. Maybe not for the very littlest kids, that one, but it's pretty fun. The Aeronauts. Simple balloon ride arrangement here. Very pretty at night as well. And the Magic Twirl. Again, one for the parents to take their kids on. And you'll see in Planet Coaster that families do actually travel the park together. So keeping everyone happy is, uh, is a nice idea. I think it might be important. The Rocktopus. A uh, simple teacup spinny ride. Marked down as a family ride as well. One I've just about forgotten is the Star Wheel. Which is an enormous Ferris wheel. And it has quite a complex movement to it. The carts on the Ferris wheel kind of move independently. Um, and they, they uh, move around the rails that exist, not just around the rim of the, of the Ferris wheel itself. And the Star Wheel rounds out the review of all the uh, rides that are currently available in the game. I'm sure they'll be adding more, and uh, you'll see them in motion shortly, and I think you'll agree they're, they're pretty neat. Let's have a look at them doing stuff. I've loaded up one of the parks that comes with the game, provided by Frontier. Parks are built themselves, and the first ride we have here is the Rocktopus looking pretty neat lots of detail in there lots of lights really gorgeous the next one they have in this park in addition to these fantastic animatronic tentacles is the whirly rig if i remember correctly yeah so the whirly rig nice and simple a good one for the family they also have a pirate ship in here as you can see bigger motion than the other family rides and finally, for their ride set, they have the Aeronauts, which is the balloon ride we talked about. That's three family rides on this park, and if you were to load it up, you'd be able to add a whole bunch more interesting rides. Here you can see the Forge in action. Great swing ride. Good for the extreme guests that may visit your park. I love how fully articulated the rides are with, you know, working pistons and all this kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. And we have a really great ride cam here. We can even hop in a seat. Next, let's have a look at the hammer swing. 
as you can see pretty massive quite fast looks like it would be lots of fun the screaminator is that extreme drop ride i talked about guests are climbing into the sky ready to be sent to their potential doom but i don't think that's a feature in planet coaster might be an interesting one if it was accidentally murdering murdering your guests i heard that was a thing you could do in roller coaster tycoon you could launch them off the end of a roller coaster and the best thing to do was to launch them into someone else's park so they suffered all the death stats here they go awesome <laughs> what a cool ride this is the genie as discussed a flat ride pretty cool good to see it in action whoa stuck on the ride thank you cinematic camera people enjoying themselves yeah you can watch them get more or less stressed by the rides which is pretty fun some of them look like they're ready to puke when they cut off a big scary one yeah that's looking that's looking awesome i added the final rides to a new theme park one with a beautiful tree in the middle of it and here they are let's have a look so first of all the sun flare as you can see pretty attractive looking chair ride whoa cinematic view whoa up it goes i think this would almost be more terrifying than roller coaster rides because you're just hanging out on the end of a chair there spinning way up into the sky next on the list is 360 power pendulum ride and as you'd expect builds up a bunch of speed all the chairs seem to be sort of floating free have a lovely weight to them everything has great sort of sense of uh, weight and, and scale in the game and you can hear the gentle screams of all the passengers aboard after that the family ride we didn't get to see in some of the other parks the magic twirl nice gentle one sit on the back of a cart pulled by some flying pigs let's take a look at the star wheel in action as you can see the carriages move freely which is pretty neat i wonder if there are any of these in the real world in new zealand we don't exactly have a large number of theme parks to go check these out maybe something for me to do when i'm a little older take the kids terrify them good times everything a parent enjoys so the star wheel really neat kind of ferris wheel i like the fact that all the carriages free float and as you'll see real sense of presence and movement to them as they um as the, as the wheel rotates and as they float freely along their tracks the final ride to look at is the sky ace which is a really good circular ride as you can see throws people through all kinds of motion i believe i saw in the dev diary that this is quite a new type of ride possibly because of the i don't know extreme machinery required to get everything working nicely whoa whoa oh actually that did actually almost make me feel a little dizzy there anyway i've been tiny pirate i hope you've enjoyed this look at the rides of planet coaster all 13 of them are simply amazing so much lovely detail really looking forward to seeing it develop hope you'll stick around plan to put out a few more videos now and then in the near future thanks for watching